Dear students, now we will review the traceback strategies that we have employed in the local and global alignments. The basic idea behind all of these strategies is a slight modification to the recurrence relationship as well as the traceback. So these slight modifications have allowed us to look at local alignments, the overlap matches, the global alignments and the repeated matches. So it is important to review all of them and see what do they mean in, uh, if we take them together. So let's review them. So the first thing that we did was the needleman Munch algorithm. So this was a global alignment strategy and we were trying to take two sequences, in this case two DNA sequences, and stretch this sequence in order to match the sequence on top. So the traceback started from the last element in the last row and column of the matrix and progressively move till the first element in the matrix. Of course in the way you had multiple options but the idea was that the last element and the first element were to be connected in a way that we had a traceback. So this gave you a global alignment. Next we move to the overlap matches. So the overlap matches were essentially a situation where two sequences were trailing or leading each other or even containing the other one. So in these three cases we could use the overlap matches. Here we have placed two amino acid sequences for you and we have built the scoring matrix and then what we did was that we started from the highest element in the last column or the last row. So from this area you could identify that 25 was the largest and therefore we moved progressively until we reached the top row. So here is your top row and here is the end point. So essentially we looked at the highest element in the entire bottom row and right column. Remember in the global alignment we only looked at the last position but in this case we have considered the entire last row and the last column. This has been connected to the zero in the top row or it could have been the left column as well. So we are looking at overlap matches by starting from the last row and the last column to the first row and first column. Next we looked at the local alignments. So the traceback strategy for the local alignments were that we selected the highest elements within the alignment matrix as you can see they are written here too and then we trace them back until we reach the zero. So as you can see in each case we reach the zero and we stop the trace back right there. So in this way we obtained the local alignments for the Smith-Waterman algorithm. For the repeated alignments our trace back started from the first element in the last column and we jumped to the next column by selecting the highest value that was here. So in this column you have the highest of 29 and then we did a trace back until we reached the first row and then we jumped to the highest value in the next column and then we trace back until we reach the first column where we reach the 0, 0 element. So these trace back strategies have allowed us to elicit global, local, repeated and other types of alignments. So in conclusion the take home message is that slight modification to the recurrence relationship and the trace back strategy can help you find out various kind of alignments.
from the biological sequences. And of course, because this is a dynamic programming approach where you are computing only one element at a time, this can be done in a very short amount of time.